Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, the legal technologist. And today we're going to talk about ScanSnap integration. Most of you probably have a ScanSnap scanner sitting on your desk somewhere uh, that you are going and scanning documents and then you're putting those into a folder and then later you may be opening that folder or opening the document and then sending it to Practice Master or saving it to Practice Master to get it in there as a doc management record. So they have to like open the folder or open the document just to get it into Practice Master? Yeah, it's kind of cumbersome, isn't it? Well, you would think there would be a better way. But there is because now there is a ScanSnap integration toolbar that Practice Master has come out with. Awesome. Can you show us how that works? I can. So this new feature of integrating Practice Master with ScanSnap is huge. This allows you to just go ahead and scan a document and it will automatically pop up so that you can go ahead and profile that document right directly into a document management record in Practice Master. So how do you do this? So first off, you have to make sure that your ScanSnap scanner is able to download the most current version of the ScanSnap manager. It has to be a version that is um, 6.0L10 or later. Uh, some models do not go up that high. So that's the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your ScanSnap model go out to the ScanSnap update. And I'm gonna go out here now. So I'm gonna just up, uh, go out to my um, ScanSnap uh, help and then I can check for online update. And so you should have something like that on your scanner as well, that you can click on that. It will take you out to your model and you can see if it says it's up to date um, and what that is. You also can just go right here to your help and, um, oops, I'm sorry, help about. So we're gonna right click and we are going to go to help and then about ScanSnap Manager, and it will tell you right here what version that you are on. If this does not say the 6.1, uh, I'm sorry, 6.0L10, then you need to download and you need to get it. Uh, you can go right out here to Fujitsu.com. You can find out if your model will allow that download. So that is the number one thing you have to be able to do that. If it's an older model, you may not have that capability. You may need to get a newer model of ScanSnap. So the first thing after we've done this and we make sure that our ScanSnap manager is on the proper version is we need to install the toolbar. So just like any of our other toolbars in Practice Master, we're gonna go out to the integration tab to our toolbar plugins. Once here, there is now a new ScanSnap tab that will allow you to go ahead and install the ScanSnap plugin. This is a user by user function, so you will need to install this on each workstation uh, anybody that's using a ScanSnap scanner, and we'll need to also set this up on each workstation for each scanner as well. So the first thing is to go ahead and click that and install the ScanSnap plugin. Once the ScanSnap plugin is installed, when I go over to ScanSnap and I go into my Scan uh, button settings, I will then have a Practice Master option. Now, I will need to go ahead and create a profile. Now, I've already done this, but I'm going to show you where to go and how to set that up. Um, so over here under the profile, now yours might be in a little different spot depending on, again, what model of a scanner you have. But for mine, if I want to set up a new profile, I actually have to do it from the scan button settings tab uh, on, the, on my scan snap. Other people, depending again on the model, you may have to right click on this and open up. Um, let me close this up. If we right click on this, you might have to go to profile management and add the actual profile here. It just, again, depends on your setting. But for mine, I need to add from the scan button settings. So here, when I open this, and it is coming up, there we go, I can add or remove uh, a profile. And at this point, if I added one, I would just choose that I want to add a practice master one. And so I've already set that up. So if I look out here and do my drop down. I have a Practice Master um, profile already set up. So I'm just gonna change my profile to be that Practice Master one. And then I'm gonna come over here and make sure that my application is also Practice Master. And you can see you have all these different options here. So I wanna make sure that I have that Practice Master selected there as well. You can then go in and select any other options that you want um, for your naming format, if you're going to do any kind of scanning. These are all just your basic scan snap settings. PDF is going to be the default. 
if you're going to OCR things. These are all just basic scan snap that you would set up on any other thing here. Uh, one other note, um, I'm going to make sure when I'm setting up a profile for Practice Master that I uncheck the Use Quick Menu because I want this to just go ahead and profile a document when I scan it. So that's it. Once this is up here and this is all good, I'm just going to say OK and we're going to go ahead and save that. If I reopen this, this should be my default now. So I'm going to just go back to Scan Button Settings. I should have my um, Practice Master as my default there. Um, and again, my application is defaulting to Practice Master. Perfect. So now I'm just going to scan a document and I will show you what will happen when that goes through. So we'll go ahead and scan and it's coming in. Um, whoops, let me say yes to that and let's try that again. I'm gonna scan that document. So you can tell it's already coming through. It already tells me that it's using the Practice Master application. And so now it'll automatically pop. It's gonna, this is just my normal scan snap manager just telling me that I had a blank removal. Yes, this is just my settings I have. And then here is my document management record. So I'm gonna save this as a new document management record. You can already, if this was a document that already existed, you could check that box and you could select what record it is and do a version and so on, just like you can with any other document management record. At this point, it's just opening up and saving it. I don't have to open the document first. I don't have to do any other steps. It's going right directly to a document management record that I can then fill out the profile and save that document directly into Practice Master. Whatever client I want it under, all of that is done. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And ScanSnap will be up and running and you can scan documents directly there and create Practice Master document management records from ScanSnap. So there you have it, an easy way to integrate ScanSnap with Practice Master. And that's just one more way that we can help you worry less. And practice more.